guys. Uh, yesterday I posted a, a tutorial on how to make your APC uh, 20 battery powered and today I was not happy with that because you have to constantly recharge those batteries if you use it on a daily basis. So I was thinking why not bus powered? Um, why didn't a guy make the whole thing bus powered in the first place? And um, apparently the thing is drawing close to 500 milliamps which is the maximum any USB port can um, put out and supply. Um, I tried it with a single USB port and it works just fine, just the buttons are a little fade um, but which doesn't matter when you're in a dark uh, environment um, and today I'm going to show you how to convert your APC20 into a bus powered uh, controller so you don't ever need to have that power supply with you ever again so let me show you how that works now first you're going to take your APC apart take the backboard off, disconnect uh, this connector right here disconnect this connector right here Yeah. Uh, that pulls out right here, a little tiny uh, black lever pulls out and the flat cable comes out and then you unscrew uh, this board okay, and turn it around. Now we're gonna go to macro mode so I can show you what's done. Alright, on the other side of the board you're gonna find the USB plug. Okay, There's four little connectors underneath that USB Okay, and the one that my cable here um, is connected to right over there that one that is the positive supplying 5 volts 500 milliamperes from your um, computer now that cable routes all the way here okay um, if we turn the board around I can show you where that actually goes it says plus 12 volts Okay, plus 12 volts on the other side um, is connected, soldered um, to the USB connector. Okay, and that's all this is. That's the entire mod. Yeah, this one from the um, USB here, and there we are, goes all the way to this one right there. Okay, and that's all you have to do solder that to this one. Voila, board done. Now for some of you guys out there it might be a problem to connect um, the APC20 to your the laptop or computer because your USB power is just not enough to power the thing. Um, that is why I come up with a solution to build a little cable that supplies up to one amp to the APC20 uh, so it can run with full button brightness and on any um, appliance that you so the desire to run the thing on. Uh, let me show you that cable. Now this also is going to take a little bit of soldering. What do we have here? It is simply a um, two USB uh, cables. Okay, the thick one, this one right here, that's my main cable. And then I took another one, one of those micro USB cables, and uh, cut it. Then I opened up the um, main cable, this one right here, okay, insulated, um, de-insulated um, all the cables. You have to leave white and green down here intact, and on the small new little cable here, you have to um, cut the um, green and the white, and then pull the insulation over the end of the cable so they are um, insulated, because these are the data cables and you don't want um, any of the data um, accidentally going into power or the um, ground here. Alright, then on the main cable you're going to de-insulate um, the positive and the negative, which negative is black and positive is red. Um, you're also going to do the same thing on the um, extra cable that you just uh, crafted and then you're just going to de-insulate the middle here and connect black onto the black and the red onto the red. I'm going to kind of pan that around a little bit so you can see uh, what this is, um, kind of hard to see, I know, but oh well, I'm gonna try here. All right, there they come in. That's basically that's basically it. That's the one right here. All right. Uh, when you put them back together, make sure that you <laughs> insulate uh, the black and the red. Otherwise, you're gonna have a big bad. Um, shortage and you're probably going to damage your USB ports on your computer so make sure that you insulate um, these two new connectors that you made that you put um, maybe some uh, copper tape around this and then insulate the entire cable
Now let's see what this looks like when it's done. Alright, here we are. Uh, since I'm using my cables uh, pretty ruggedly uh, most of the time, I actually just like covered the whole thing in nice gator tape and then put some cable ties at the end there to make this nice and robust. But um, obviously this is still on at your own disposal. So, let's see if the whole thing um, now works. Okay, here it is, APC20, Ableton Live, our new cable, and our modified electronics. So, let's see what happens. Hmm, that seems to work. Just nicely. Let's turn some lights on here. No, blue lights work as well. Everything works. Okay, cool. Good. So, let me stop that. Um, basically, all you have to do now is put your um, APC20 back together. Um, make sure you don't crunch any cables, uh, damage any cables, don't forget any screws. Uh, be careful when you put it back together. Remember, static electricity kills electronics. And yeah, then have fun um, on the run, mobile, with your USB powered uh, Akai Professional APC20 Ableton controller. Rock on. Oh, yeah, and one thing um, for all these people that um, feel funny and want to make me responsible for blowing up the APC20, do not under any circumstances ever use your power supply to power um, your controller ever again because it will blow up the APC20 and the computer, most probably the computer though, uh, because you're actually supplying the computer with 12 volts through your USB plug. So please don't ever connect the power supply that came with the controller to the controller Again, remember that, because you will make it not work. <laughs> Alright, bye.